Hi guys. Hey Gray. Hi Tux. It's not oppressive out here yet. Got to get in the morning walk before it gets too hot. That is Tux running across the yard. So just in case you thought he wasn't capable of moving faster than a sloth, <laughs> you'd be wrong. <laughs> Hi, one of our viewers asked to see a little bit more about our, what we refer to as the GMC. So it actually is a 2004 GMC Envoy XUV, Extended Utility Vehicle, okay, or Extra Utility Vehicle. Uh, this one is a little different uh, than the SUVs you might be familiar with. Uh, one of the things is it only has um, the front and the second row it doesn't have a third row so instead of a third row it has a little pickup bed so uh, like a like a typical pickup uh, you know you can get to the bed this way which is how I normally open it but this is the real trick you can let the glass down there's a button right here you can push to let the glass down Oh, a big yellow button. Yeah. I <laughs> can't miss that. <laughs> and then you can um, close the, the tailgate and push, push in the middle. And then you can let it down like a regular pickup truck tailgate. And it has, um, if you put this metal rod on its mount point over here, it's good at, for up to 600 pounds. Um, you can um, do other neat things uh, with this. I'll lift this back up real quick. It's just easier. So, in case you want to call, carry tall stuff. And we have moved a refrigerator with it standing up. You can open up the top. Now they only made this for three years. The 2004 model year was the first year and I think they made it through uh, 2006. I will try to dig up possibly a picture I have of the refrigerator when I moved over here and we moved the refrigerator from my old house to this house. Um, let me go on the other side. I always forget that it's easier from the other side. Sorry. I'll be right back. So the seats are real handy. Um, they're, um, Let they, me see what they look like before you move it. Yeah, well, I've already moved that one. Okay, so this seat's already pushed all the way forward. This seat falls forward, and I gotta let that glass down. So when we go to the dump, we never smell the trash because there's glass here. So there's actually two rear windows, the one on the tailgate and the one between the passengers and the pickup bed. They call that a mid-gate. Mid-gate. And then with the mid-gate, you can push this little button once you have the glass down. They should have put a button here to let the glass down. I don't know why they chose not to make you go to the front right. to do the glass. All right, but now you can. Um... Okay, and that's one solid piece, gotcha. So you can see that there really is a full pickup truck bed back here with uh, the middle row folded up. Right, and not only that, that will hold a 4 by 8 sheet of plywood. You could put five. Four by eight, three quarter inch, four by eight sheets of plywood. Uh, the plywood sits on this over here. If you notice how it, it's kind of carved out. Yeah. And it, up front on the back of the seats, there's these little pegs sticking out. Oh little, yeah, I see bumpers. those too. Yeah. And so that you can put your plywood in first, then pile everything on top. And I used to carry 
sheetrock and I would carry uh, about eight sheets of sheetrock or which is two uh, four bundles of sheetrock when I was sheetrock in my garage uh, this you know I use this thing quite a bit for that uh, we don't use it quite as much anymore for that type of stuff but the mid gate and the ability when you need to to be able to carry something not only uh, long uh, and wide but also tall and you know this is that bedliner stuff so it's pretty rugged you have to understand this truck is uh i bought it in december 2003 so it'll be 15 years old uh this uh this fall yeah except that it looks like it's a brand new vehicle because you've kept it in the garage and kept it yeah, washed and yeah. not abused it right and it's got uh 80 something thousand miles on it i mean uh, i used to this used to be my daily driver for um so I got the XB, which was in 2007. So like three years you drove it to yeah, IBM. I drove this car every day for three years. And it's really good on the highway. I, uh, this has a really long wheelbase. And uh, the long wheelbase, it's a little narrow, but uh, that makes it easy to park when it's narrow. Uh, but it has a really long wheelbase, so it rides really good. And it has 17 inch uh, tires. Um, and so they're nice and soft. Uh, you know, it has a very good ride, um, and I have driven this thing. Um, we've driven it up to probably the longest trips up to Indianapolis. I've taken it up there a couple times, taking it down to see my brother and sister out to Texas. Um, you know, but uh, it it's a really nice. It gets 20 miles to the gallon, even though it's a V8. It gets 20 miles to the gallon on the highway. You get just over 400 miles. Uh, basically, when it gets to 400 miles on the highway, you should find you a, a gas station. It, and uh, that'll be a 20 gallon fill up. I do see the irony of Don being in his Tesla shirt while sitting in his GMC. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't have any GMC shirts. I should have one, but I don't actually have a GMC. Yeah, just a Chevy Volt. Right, I got a Chevy. From a long time ago. Like right when the Volt came out, you That's had a Volt right. shirt. Sure so this is a V8, and it's good for towing. I believe it has an 8,000 pound tow rating. I don't want to hear it can tow more than Ruby. Well, it's, it is a truck, sweetheart. Yeah. This is, uh, if you're familiar with uh, short wheelbase, standard wheelbase, and long wheelbase trucks, this is a built on a long wheelbase chassis. It was very popular with people who had dogs. If Marianne can swing the camera and look back from the drivers here, uh, stick her camera through the window here and kind of look backwards. You can see how the dogs can stay back there in the back. The window can be down and they can be slobbering over your seats. Um, but uh, this was really super popular with people who had dogs. Um, it was discontinued. The official reason I was given or told at the time it was discontinued was because people wanted a third row seat. Yeah, okay. Uh, I don't know why. Um, you know, there's lots of third row SUVs out there, but this was the only one like this. Um, it has a couple neat features. Um, I forgot. It's uh, it was ahead of its time. It has two 12 volt outlets in the front, so you have two 12 volt outlets yeah, here for 2004. For 2004, it has a 12 volt outlet in the middle for the rear seat passengers, which of course in today's world is really good. Yeah, we've used that. The boys have plugged their devices in in the middle row. I, I've got my Tesla yeah. magnet here. From Jack. From Jack. Show it again. Yeah, it's a Tesla magnet and you can adjust it. Yep. And um, it's great for holding EV TV. EV TV. He still has yeah. them. I yeah. saw them a few yeah. days ago. They're great. Uh, like I said, it has an 8,000 pound tow reading. Uh, standard was with a, a six cylinder, I believe it was. I didn't want a six cylinder, so I got the V8. Um, it's uh, it's been a really reliable car, I have to tell you. The only repair I had done was um, the axle in the rear, which is a uh, electronically controlled locking differential. Um, the seal it leaked uh, some differential oil, and uh, I took it up to, and it was out of warranty by that time. But they replaced it. It, it wasn't that bad. I think it cost like 400 bucks to get that fixed. Um, that's been the only non maintenance repair uh, it's a 5.3 liter v8 and uh, it it has never missed a, slit, a lick everybody who's ever drove this uh, loved it uh, I have a 
sister who loves it. Um, my brother, his his girlfriend. It's like she she just about didn't give it back when she, my brother borrowed it <laughs> while he was working on his house. Um, uh, he would tell me she would say, "Got anything from Home Depot? Need for anything from Home Depot?" And she would do that just so she could drive it. She enjoyed driving it that much, and it does drive very well. I'm headed to town mostly to get a watermelon and to play some Pokemon Go. There's a raid at uh, South Park in 15 minutes and I'm gonna hopefully do that one from the car because it's 93 degrees out there and bright sun and very humid. But yeah, I still enjoy rolling down the window and saying hey to everybody and uh, this would be for another Reggie Ice, um, which I don't have to get but um, do my daily raid. So Dawn's going to wash Ruby after I get back home. I'll put her in the garage and let her cool down. And then when the platform up here, parking deck is in the shade, he's going to wash her. I guess it's a good thing we didn't wash her before the road trip yesterday or she just would have been all dirty again. Um, yeah, but uh, when we filmed the stuff for the GMC, we did do a quick detailing around uh, the GMC. So <laughs> Don appreciated uh, the uh, reason to uh, spend a little time sprucing up the GMC too. I'm parked safely over here to the side. We've got uh, about seven minutes before the um, start time that was called for. The gym is basically those trees over there. And uh, we need six to eight, but we probably have more like 15 today. I think there's more than 20 of us, and we're going to have to split into two groups. Yeah, we've split up here. Valor's in by themselves, and Instinct and Mystic are teamed up. I think there's like 26 people here now. Well, we didn't have any problem beating the raid boss, but I didn't catch him on either account. There's supposed to be another battle over at Aviator. I'm going to go see if I can catch up with those guys. Aviator doesn't hatch for 20 minutes, and I don't think they're going to do the raid for like 30. So I'm going to go ahead and run into Walmart and get the watermelon. Wow, Ruby says it's 98. This definitely calls for keep climbing on. I decided to go ahead and just buy two. There's a big cloud and a couple of drops on the windshield, but Don wants to wash Ruby anyway, so unless there's hail in that cell, I don't need to worry about it. Those are different. It's supposed to be more bug looking. Wow, thank goodness it's cool and Ruby. I stood outside for 20 minutes to fight that second battle and um, I did catch him. Johnny's phone um, glitched in the GPS and I couldn't get back in. I just told him to go ahead since he already has them. Not to wait, it's too hot to be waiting out there, but oh my goodness, we're just all so hot. Dedicated Pokemon to stand in the shade in that heat. I feel like walking around a little more, so I am gonna go into Guardian Angel. I didn't talk much about my sciatic nerve pain the last few days, but needless to say, it's, uh, really not any better and still bothering me. I opened the door to get into Ruby and it was like walking into a store where the air conditioning was running. It was so awesome to have the car be able to stay reasonably cool. So I got one t-shirt and a couple of books. I didn't see too much today. The books are for Johnny. He'll uh, probably be excited about those. Looks like there's a new book in the uh, Origami Yoda series. So he likes those. Did you come out here to help me with those watermelons? Watermelons? That sounds plural. <laughs> yep. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. An unimpressive 10 miles today. He's home. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, too. I've got him on a little mission here to help uh, decorate the curio cabinet.
It was really too hot to wash the car. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm wetter than the car got. <laughs> but she sure looks better. Yeah, she does. Yep. Thank you, Donnie. You're welcome. Well, she cleans up so nice. Yeah, well, hopefully tomorrow we'll get rain, but not when I'm out anywhere with her, or that'll be, we'll be crying. That's right. <laughs>